It's the 1st of August, 2022, so it's time for another monthly update video in which I'll tell you about what went on in July that you might have missed and want to get in on. And we'll also talk about all the cool stuff coming up in this long month of August. I always begin by highlighting three big things. So big thing number one, August is my birthday month. I will be having an online birthday bash that everybody is invited to, doing some live streaming on YouTube just to hang out a bit with people that, you know, like the videos or podcasts and stuff like that and want to celebrate and chat. So that'll be coming up on the 18th. Um, coming up also, this is big thing number two, a little bit earlier in the month, I will be in person for another Philosophers in the Midst of History talk, this time focusing on Hegel. And we'll be talking about his place in history, how he was formed, his ideas on history. That will be at the Frank Weinberg Library. I'll talk more about that coming up. And then finally, big thing number three, I've started making use of this feature in YouTube to add fundraisers that you can contribute to on some of my videos. And, you know, I'm finding good fundraisers to go along with it. So, you know, for my cat videos, I've got things that have to do with the Urban Cat Coalition and for other videos, other things. And you'll be seeing a lot more of those rolling out. And YouTube collects the money for the various charities. And I think it's a really great thing. So that's the big scoop on those three big things. Now let's talk about July. We did quite a few things in the month of July. Scott Truly and I got together for another classic metal class in which we talked about uh, rebellion as a theme in metal. We had some great guests who contributed to the discussion as well. And uh, you can check out the video for that link to below. We also had Worlds of Speculative Fiction, going back to an author who used to be, when I was uh, younger, my favorite author, Roger Zelazny, looking at the second part of the Chronicle of Amber series. We did an AMA as usual every month, a lot of great questions, um, half hour Hegel sessions. Uh, and, and I've also been teaching two classes on. Online, one of which just finished up this weekend, and that is with Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. That's an academic intro to philosophy class for my students there. But I've been doing a light hall class on Aristotle and the moral virtues that has been really a lot of fun and some great engagement and questions with that. I'll probably be rerunning that class sometime in the winter or the coming year. Uh, Wisdom for Life, uh, we were able to have a couple recording sessions and that that's good. Um, lots of meetings with clients for philosophical counseling and tutorials and uh, even a few other connected things as well. Um, my, my wife, Andy, and I have been to a number of concerts and, you know, you know, some of which were going to Summerfest here in Milwaukee, the world's largest music festival, but some other things as well. And I'll mention another cool thing that we did. We, we drove up to Green Bay to see a soccer game that more or less got rained out at Lambeau Field. Uh, but while we were there in Green Bay, maybe some of you have seen me put stuff about this in social media. We visited a cat sanctuary, which serves, um, you know, cats who've been injured or cats who are near their end of life, kind of hospice stuff. And I think many of you know how attached I was to Sassy, um, among other cats. And, um, you know, she's been gone about three months now. So, you know, sitting there holding a, a cat who's slowly succumbing to cancer in my lap and just hanging out was kind of a nice thing to do. And I'll probably do more of those things in the future. Um, video work. Put out a lot of videos this month, uh, one of which is following up on that series of fake quotes, right? We did Plato, we did Aristotle, I asked people who they wanted next, and they said Marcus Aurelius. So I did one of a bunch of fake Marcus Aurelius quotes. As it turns out, there's a lot of them floating around out there. I also did a couple um, 
uh, videos in a series that I hadn't touched for a while, answers to common questions about stoicism, um, which may be helpful for people. We did a really cool thing as well in worlds of speculative fiction. Not only did we have our regular monthly thing on Rogers Lasney, but I also got to interview uh, James Kennedy, a recent author of a really great speculative fiction work called Dare to Know. And that was a you know really fun conversation because he's, he's great at uh, the back and forth repartee. And we got to go really deep into the metaphysics and even some of the back history of his, his uh, recent novel, which you should check out. Um, I did a lot of things on speculative fiction this month, actually. I did a whole series on Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, the famous you know, Philip K. Dick work that eventually was adapted into the Blade Runner. And then I decided to do another set of uh, speculative fiction studies videos on an address that Dick gave, uh, The Android and the Human. Um, I got one book review done on uh, Donald Robertson's uh, Verissimus, a graphic novel about Marcus Aurelius, and we did a caption contest video, which was a lot of fun as well. Um, I also sampled some of the video recordings from my Aristotle on the Moral Virtues Light Hall class. That actually, people really liked that quite a bit, so I'll probably do some more of those in the future, giving you a, la a little taste of what the class was about and the kind of topics that we're going into. And then, of course, I did a couple half-hour Hegel videos, uh, one of which has been released, one of which has not, for uh, you know the, the project um, released to Patreon supporters. That is, both of them have been released to the, the supporters of the project. One has been released publicly. And so that's, that's it for videos. I was pretty busy with podcast work on the Sadler's Lectures and um, did, you know, we wrapped up the series on Augustine's Confessions. It turned out I had a lot of episodes on that. And then we went into Anselm's On Truth. And we just finished up Plato's Phaedo. And um, so, you know, it was, it was a pretty good month as far as podcast stuff goes. So that's, that's July. Let's talk about what we've got coming up in August. Now, all the dates are the same as, you know, what I'm saying, but you got to be careful about the time because for every online event, I'm giving it to you in central time, which means that you need to check out what time zone you're in if you want to participate. Every once in a while, I have somebody who comes in at the end and says, oh, I got the time zone wrong. So... On the 6th, that's coming up this Saturday, I have my AMA, that's Ask Me Anything session. You can jump in and ask me questions. They can be about philosophy. They can be about other things. People ask me questions about heavy metal, my back history, all those sorts of things. So you're welcome to join me for that. And then uh, a little bit later on the 6th for my Patreon supporters at 2 p.m., I will be having my philosophy chat session, which is a little bit more intimate and we go into a bit more depth and detail on the 10th if you're here in the milwaukee area uh, at 6 p.m at the frank weyenberg library that's in mequon so you know on the north side we will be having uh, the aforementioned philosophers in the midst of history session devoted to hegel and i will be going deep into his own, you know, biography and, and, you know, his place in history, how he was shaped by history, how he shaped history himself, some of his key ideas, because he is a philosopher of history. We'll be going into all of that. And, you know, we usually have a pretty good audience asking questions. So that should be a lot of fun. If you're here in the area, you definitely want to come out for that. On the 13th at 12 p.m. and then at 1.30 p.m., we're going to have the two different parts of the Worlds of Speculative Fiction series. We begin with a video premiere in which I talk about the author and the books and you know what's going on in them, philosophical themes, world building. We do live chat while the video is running. And then we have a Zoom session where we continue the conversation for those who want to uh, jump in there. And um, 
who are we doing this month? J.G. Ballard. We are looking at his novels of modern dystopia. So High Rise is one of those and Concrete Island and Crash. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, on the 17th at 5 p.m., we have our public Hegel Q&A and discussion session. You don't have to be a, a member of the Half Hour Hegel Project for that. Uh, as a matter of fact, Half Hour Hegel is underwriting that. So if you'd like to join in on that, I'm happy to chat with you about Hegel, German idealism, whatever it is that you want to. On the 18th, it'll be my birthday. So at 1 p.m., I am going to have an online birthday bash. It's going to be kind of unprogrammed. I'll just be chatting with people, and I'm sure there will be a lot of people wishing me a happy birthday, and I'll be saying thanks, and, you know, we'll talk about whatever people want to talk about. I'll probably have some, some reflections to start us off about aging and, you know, philosophy, but, you know, I, we'll see where it goes, right? Uh, on the 20th at 12, uh, that's, that's noon central time, we have our classic metal class. Me and Scott Teruli will be um, discussing a topic as yet to be determined. He and I have got to get together on that. And then on the 25th at 6 p.m., we have our online Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship uh, where we're often joined by people from outside of Milwaukee. You don't have to be in the greater Milwaukee area to participate in that. And we will be discussing Diogenes, Laertes's summary of Stoic doctrine in Book 7, The Life of Zeno, looking specifically at matters and ethics. And then finally on the 27th at noon, uh, political theory and practice discussion. I've been putting it off uh, quite a bit as you know scheduling didn't work out for previous months, but I think we'll we'll probably hold it this month. So those are the events. Um, obviously, I have classes starting for Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. I may have some other academic classes in the area starting up. I just got contacted over the weekend by a local university that wants to bring me in to teach. Uh, so we'll see if that happens. I'm also going to be having light hall classes that are, well, I'm finishing up the Aristotle one, and then I'm getting ready for a Plato one that will begin in early September. So, you know, stay tuned for that if you're interested in those sorts of matters. As far as video production goes, um, I'm going to be doing some core concept videos. And at the very least, I'll be doing some on uh, somebody that people have been asking me about for a long time, Arthur Schopenhauer. And I'm going to be doing some a sequence uh, that's coming from the mid part to the end of his uh, On the Basis of Morality that I, I need for some of my ethics classes, the ethics of sympathy and, you know, his discussions of that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to try to make my half hour Hegel quota for the month. We're, we're, you know, deep in the religion section, getting close to the end of the work, which is kind of cool. Book reviews. I got a lot of book reviews I got to do, and I, I got to get those churned out because the books keep piling up. So I got to work on some of those. There'll be videos, of course, of the various events. I'd like to get started with doing interviews again in the Ideas That Matter sequence. Um, so that would be kind of nice. I, if I get the chance, I might do another like special worlds of speculative fiction interview as well. And I'll probably do some personal videos, you know, uh, I always get a little bit reflective around the birthday time. So, you know, there's some stuff I could probably do as well as Sadler stories, videos, and, um, you know, I'm going to do at least a, one more fake quotes video calling out these fake quotes that people keep circulating around. Who it's going to be on, I haven't decided yet. It might be Seneca, it might be Cicero, it might be Epictetus. I got to kind of put my feelers out there about who it should be. And as far as uh, podcast work, I've, I've got some podcast episodes on Alcuin, uh, and his great treatise on virtues and vices that we're going to put out. And then I think I'll probably do another you know, poll and see who people would like next. I got plenty of material on 
Aristotle and on Epictetus and on some other people that probably, you know, could be uh, uh, good to put out there. But I'll, I'll run a poll and you'll see it in my social media so you can participate in that. And that is pretty much everything that's going on here. Um, obviously, I'm still getting to the gym. If you, you know, if you see my social media, I talk about that quite a bit. Still taking walks in the beautiful Milwaukee area. And uh, looking forward to my oldest daughter coming up here back to University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee to resume her studies and we'll get together and have some, some fun time as well. So that is what's coming up. I hope I see you in some of these online events and maybe some of you, all, you know, if you're at the face-to-face -face event at the uh, Frank Weinberg Library, come up and introduce yourself to me and, and I'll be happy to chat with you after we, uh, or before or after we, we do the session. So that's it. I hope all of you have a great month and I'll see you somewhere in the internet ether.